intentionally. You should have put it down that high. Gail, I am the company. Oh, am I glad you are not the father of my daughter? Let's just spend the rest of the night playing Pictionary, all right? It's, it's a waste of time. People sit around and solve meaningless little puzzles just to pass time. Fred, you wasting enough of my time talking about his fucking boat. Does he really think I care? So good. It's, it's good to know how you feel about Fred. How do I feel about Fred? I always knew. I don't know him. I know his fucking boat. I could draw a blueprint it's for his so fucking boat. It's so easy for you not to play Pictionary. You're funny, verbal, provocative. You know how intimidated my husband is by you. Play fucking Pictionary, Gail. Play your heart out. I'll stay here with Elizabeth. Purity wise. Purity wise. You don't love Fred. <coughs> what? You don't love Fred. That's American. I demand you play Pictionary. I can goddamn it. Why did you marry a man you didn't I love? Christ, Gail, tell me you love him, please. You got on that fucking boat. The absolute quintessential turning point in our relationship, and you're on a fucking boat to fucking St. John? That has nothing to do with it's it. It's got everything to do with it. You make it sound like it was some kind of choice between two men, like it was me or him. It was. It was, Gail. Come on, if it was a choice between me and Fred, most women would just fucking shoot themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I work on a farm with my hands to produce a reasonably priced source of nourishment when I could be getting fat and playing fucking Pictionary. I gained four pounds, four. Don't dare say I'm getting fat. And there is nothing wrong with playing Pictionary, you goddamn all-knowing fool. You lost me. I know. And it really pisses me off, the thing that you said about me regretting my choices. At least I made a choice. Well, you do regret it. I love Fred, Eric. I really do. Not like I loved you. We have these things together. This family, this feeling, this sureness. I don't, I don't consider your need for structure your strongest trait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think I can have this conversation with you. Let's just go downstairs. You're right. I'm sorry. Just be in yourself. That's what I'm sorry for. I should say goodbye to Elizabeth. Goddamn embarrassing! I mean, standing around in front of hundreds of people, displaying their purest and truest selves. It takes them no more than two drinks in their heart to on the dance floor. But my body fights it. I start to analyze the music, the rhythm, the time signature. I'm just in the theory of dancing, Gil, but I've never experienced it. I can't dance. How did Elizabeth make you think of that? <laughs> When we were together, you would arrange for these parties, yeah, I would and invariably, like I did this invariably, you. you would want to dance, Gail, and I wouldn't dance with you. I wouldn't dance with you. I always thought it was that you wouldn't dance. I never knew that you couldn't dance. <laughs> Do you hold me? I don't think so. Better get downstairs before Marie tells Fred about her orgy with the British invasion. There was one time that you I don't remember. You did. I remember it clearly. I remember thinking how strange it was that I was in this wedding gown on my wedding day, looking at you, and you weren't my fiance. Yeah, that. I wasn't dancing, Gail. I was walking. I convinced myself I was walking very slowly. <laughs> Thank you for showing me your daughter. She is absolutely the single greatest thing I've ever looked at. <laughs>